Hey folks, there is a video going around that uses a copyrighted work from William Briscoe. I am showing this segment just so you see it and understand why I am only going to show a bit of his video, enough to make the educational point. The subject here, Full Sky Aurora. The issue, someone took William's video and doesn't understand basic photography they offer in high school elective classes. So here we go. This is five seconds of a nearly three minute time lapse clip slowed to half speed to make it 10 seconds and we'll just replay this 10 second clip in the video because it's really all we need. If you want to see the full video, and I suggest you do, especially since it has been improperly used by others, which we'll get to momentarily, you can click the link below this video and go find the full three minute work by Briscoe. Now, for those of you who get what the Aurora is doing in the video and why it looks like this, shh, we're learning here. Let's say you have no idea why the aurora looks so horrifying, and indeed, its multiple, nonlinear structure sort of does. Well, the video title should be a big clue. It's a 360-degree panorama-style time-lapse. Right below that, in the YouTuber's icon, you see a skybound 360-degree panorama image, and indeed, that is what panoramic capture looks like. The downside to wide-angle capture is unrealistic 2D perspective and depth once that information is rendered. For those who might not know, panoramic auroral photography is a highly popular subset of auroral watching in general, and this is what they always look like. This just happens to be a beautiful example. Here's another one from Sebastian at Astrofilm, actually the third time we've shown his work, and as always, link shown bottom right corner of the video. Anything that normally would go straight across the sky will have that visual effect in panorama, like this cloud that cut right over my head in a straight line, but which I turned into a pyramid over the sun with a panoramic capture on my iPhone. So, what is the issue? The misunderstanding. Apparently, someone doesn't get panoramic photos, and sadly, they have many, many subscribers online who believe just about everything they say. They looked at this and said, oh my god, two aurora? That's not possible, which is correct, and... There is indeed only one in the video. He then proceeds to explain what causes the second aurora. Must be a second sun, Nibiru system, whatever you'd like to call it. In truth, this beautiful display was indeed just one aurora bent by 360 degree perspective and triggered by a fast solar wind stream from this coronal hole. It was back in late September 2016. Geomagnetic disruptions rose for two days and peaked on the 28th, same day the video in question was taken. There are lots of pieces of evidence for lots of different things, and not all of them you can find in a textbook. If you are lucky enough to have your eyes open and are awake to some different versions of reality than the one spoon-fed to the masses, it is imperative. You also realize that not everything that smells and walks like a legit piece of our community and alternative realm actually is. Sadly, for every story or evidence with merit, there are nine or ten misunderstandings and false trails. Our job is to figure out the difference, and if you have a moment, go give William's video a watch, and let's do our part to make up for those who stole his work using, quote, fair use in the most aggravating way imaginable. And be safe, everyone.